They're art, but not intended for a gallery. The panoramas depict mountain ranges in Canada, Italy and Austria, but they're not mere reproductions. Each work is carefully painted, transforming the geography into a unique work of art. Ingrid schultus füger is one of the few remaining masters of the technique. I'm someone who moves mountains, on paper. I take the mountain I see and make it larger, or turn it around. The airport at Innsbruck. Ingrid schultus füger has been commissioned to create a panoramic view of the famous Kitzbühel ski resort. But before she reaches for her brushes, she takes a flight over the mountains to get an overview. The light is perfect at midday. The pilot and the artist waited for three weeks for a cloudless day. She needs a bird's eye view to see the mountain landscape from all directions and look deep into the valleys. The difference between Google Earth and what I photograph here is that I'm capturing a landscape that's lit from the side, not from above. That's what makes it so beautiful. On Google Earth, the light is diffused. It's not luminous. The landscape has no radiance. After her two-hour flight, Ingrid schultus füger returns to her studio in Innsbruck. First, she prepares a sketch based on her aerial photographs. Once the client approves the sketch, she gets out her acrylic paints and starts creating her panorama. Even the initial sketch transforms the geography in subtle but important ways that will go unnoticed by the viewer. The mountain corresponds with reality because it retains its silhouette. But I've shortened the sides to make room for the ski slopes. Otherwise, the mountain would extend much further into the landscape. And this is an area that's not essential for the ski resort. Ingrid schultus füger was taught the technique by Austria's few remaining panorama painters. It took 10 years to learn all the tricks of the trade. Meanwhile, her panoramas can be found the world over, but it's a vanishing art. I think it's too bad that so few people want to learn this craft. But I do understand it. It takes a long time to learn it. You have to be something of a fanatic and really want to learn it. Once the client has approved the sketch, she spends two months in the studio creating the final product. She begins with the sky, which always presents a challenge. Everyone thinks the sky is quick work and that it's always turquoise, but it's always the most difficult part. It has to be perfect. The whole panorama depends on it. After that, she continues with the rest of the painting. A finished panorama can sell for up to 19,000 euros. Ingrid carefully lays brush stroke upon brush stroke to create the perfect illusion of the mountain geography. But she's never completely satisfied with her work. Painters never say they're perfect. There's always something that can be approved. Painters are always their toughest critics. I can always see something that could be improved even if the viewers can't see it. Weeks later, the painting of Kitzbühel is finished. Unlike the mountains, the ski slopes change every season. That's why they're added to the painting separately on a computer. They too were once painted by hand. I'm amazed myself at how impressive it is, the effect of the finished painting in front of the actual landscape. It's a great feeling when I'm done. Now it's back to the drawing table. The next commission is waiting. Another panorama of a ski resort in the Tyrolean Alps.